It is the celebration of Hawaii's most popular snack. Yes, Jordan is standing by with someone who knows a thing or two about Hawaiian comfort food. Yes, Go yes, on. indeed. Well, it is Aloha Friday, folks. No work till Monday. Well, I work I have a day off on Monday. But guess what, <laughs> folks? August 8th is going to be L&L Hawaiian Barbecue Spam Musubi Day, everybody. And they're celebrating by giving away 100000 free Spam Good Musubi. Great. Wow, that's it or a not. lot. Yes, indeed. So I got to uh, give a big thank you to our friends over at l l because they have locations all across uh, the nation here for setting us up here in the studio because I'm going to quickly show you how to put together a Spam Musubi before I tell you how to get your very own Spam Musubi. And to help me uh, create this very tasty Ono treat, I'm joined here by president of l l Alicia Flores. Good morning, Alicia. How's it, Jordan? Happy Aloha Friday. Happy Aloha Friday. All right, so we got some of the ingredients uh, to put together the Spam Musubi because we got to let everybody know it is a treat that you can find pretty much at every store in Hawaii, right? Absolutely. It's uh, probably uh, similar to a taco or burrito on the mainland, but it's one of our most popular snacks in Hawaii. Yeah, so I'm going to show how, how to quickly make it because you can actually customize it, but it's pretty simple. We got some white rice, sticky white rice. We got the Spam Musubi right here, okay? This is the regular flavor all fried up as well. And then we got the Nori, but Alicia, tell everybody what is a Spam Musubi and what is Musubi? Because I hear people on the mainland say Musubi because it is a Japanese word, correct? Correct. So Spam Musubi, as you know, uh, or you may know, Spam is made by Hormel, which is based in Minnesota. But during World War II, the military brought it over to Hawaii as rations for the troop. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, Musubi comes from, is a Japanese term. Um, so the Musubi, it was created by Japanese uh, farmers. So in Hawaii, we have this super easy treat to make. Um, basically four ingredients, the Spam, the um, rice, the nori, and at l, l we have our super secret uh, Hawaiian barbecue sauce oh. to make to top it off. Okay, speaking of the secret sauce, now I've, they had asked me, do you have your own Spam Musubi maker? I said, yes, yes, I forgot it at home. <laughs> so if you try to make it by hand, it may not look as pretty as this one right here. <laughs> but it still works because you're going to devour it in less than two minutes. So It'll still taste for, super good. <laughs> for our, uh, our uh, Aloha Hawaiian at Heart, Cody Stark here. Yes. And so this is the LNO Secret Sauce. Can you tell us maybe uh, what flavor it might? Because I'm going to do it nice and slow. The Baywatch Slow Motion Sauce. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's our secret sauce, so I can't give you all the ingredients, Jordan, but it's shoyu-based. So oh. it has that nice, salty, sweet taste, taste to it. Oh, oh perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll put the Spam Moot. Musubi on top. Now let everybody know how the Spam became so popular in Hawaii and why. Yeah, so during the uh, World War II, when they brought it over for the troops, it just became very popular in Hawaii. And you know, I, I think local people love that kind of salty texture to the meat. Um, the Spam Musubi, as you can see, is very easy to take around as a snack. You can hold it in one hand, eat it on the go. So you know, <laughs> I think it's just something that local people love. <laughs> That's why you have the Musubi maker, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can get in shops as well, but you know what? If you make it by hand, it's just as yummy. Yeah, <laughs> just it's as made yummy. Me Cody, well. you gonna give it a chop? Do you want me to do this one or this one? Whichever you feel comfortable. I will go with L and L's. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my whole together go better. The L and L, the L and L Musubi. <laughs> Alicia, tell do everybody that. what's happening and how they can get their hands on a free Musubi. How do we do that? Mm. Yeah, so we're super excited, Jordan. So mm. uh, National Spam Musubi Day will be this August eighth. So eight oh eight. Um, we will be giving 100,000 Spam Musubi away, as wow. well as a trip for two to Hawaii with our partners oh at Hawaiian Airlines and Outrigger. Um, all you have to do is download the l, l app, so you can find it on the Google Play Store or uh, in the app, Apple App Store. Um, download the app before August 8th, and you can get your free Spam Musubi coupon on the app. Fantastic. And how many locations do we have here in the, uh, I guess, the Northern California region? Northern California, we have over 25 locations. Wow. There what do you think, go. Code? It's spreading the Aloha, spreading the Spam Musubi. Again, August 8th, LNL, National Spam Musubi Day. You ready, Cody? Because we have a whole whole uh, tray of them left over. I can do some damage. We can do some damage. <laughs> that Seriously, that is so good. So, so good. The secret sauce from LNL. Again, go get your free coupon. Enjoy your Aloha Friday here and enjoy some Spam Musubi. Alicia, thank you so much and big mahalo, mahalo to Jordan. LNL. All right. So fun. Okay. I'll try to make this one pretty. <laughs> I'll try to get I'll learn my so lesson. Funny. I wasn't dissing you. I just felt like the you know it, it might not have stayed together. Well, that was I know. I, I didn't want. I wanted to try yours, but I didn't want to wear yours. Right. See, you know there's that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.